Your boys on the We Trying channel, Nerdy by Nature, are back, and we're here with lovely Natasha. Um, you were the Bride of Frankenstein yesterday, right? I was, so, yes. So, Natasha, tell me what SC Horror is. SC Horror is South Carolina's only horror convention. So we have got artists, we have vendors, we have a haunted house that's actually gonna set up inside of the convention, have some fun with our attendees. Then on top of that, we have guest celebrities. We got Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween. We got James O'Barr, creator of The Crow. John Russo, he's the grandfather of zombies. He created Night of the Living Dead. And then on top of that, we got a Scream Queen, a Walking Dead zombie, a Jim Henson puppeteer, and a ton more than that. Tell me more about Mr. Russo, because that's the thing that really got me when I was talking to your husband, Jay. He talked about creating the flesh-eating zombies. My first introduction to zombies was Night of the Living Dead. Um, I used to get up early morning for Saturday morning cartoons. The Fox station, before the cartoon started, would always play like an action movie or a horror movie. And that was my introduction. Tell me a little bit more about Russo and why it's important for people to know who he is. Yeah, so actually John Russo wrote a book and it was Night of the Living Dead, all right? So whenever he wrote the book, George A. Romero was a director at the time fell in love with the book and was like, man, I got to make this a movie. So him and John Russo actually worked together. And if you watch Night of the Living Dead, you actually notice John Russo's in the movie. He's one of the zombies, right? And it was the first of a genre. Nobody had ever seen a flesh-eating zombie rising out of the grave, like in zombie droves and attacking people. So he is the reason that we have the movies that we have today. He's the reason that The Walking Dead is even around. Without him, we wouldn't have the genre. So tell me why it's important for South Carolina to have a horror convention. Why is horror so important? Because again, I'm not a slasher person. I'm the sci-fi, alien, aliens, um, event horizon. That's my horror genre. But tell people why is this genre so popular? Because like you just said, Horror spans genres. You don't just have like slasher horror. You can have sci-fi horror. You can have like spooky thriller horror. You could have suspenseful horror with like creepy ghost stories, things like that. Everybody loves horror, even kids. Like I like to tell everybody, we have something for everybody. Everything from a nightmare before Christmas, which in and of itself is horror, even though it's Disney, up to a nightmare on Elm Street. Tell people when the event is and tell them how they can get tickets and how they can get in contact with you yeah. guys. Yeah, so we have SC Horror coming up September 16th and 17th. You can get your tickets online by visiting schorror.com. You'll get a ticket link right there over to our ticket website. $20 gets you in the door for the entire weekend when you buy your tickets in advance. Natasha, thank you. You look good. So tell thank people you. who you are. You're Elvira? I am like... 2023's version of Elvira. Okay. I took my inspiration from her, but I am never going to be as good as the queen of horror herself. The, the, you, you, you filled out the role very nicely. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, thank you. Appreciate it. Watching Nerdy by Nature. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in the area, if you've got a chance to, come out to SC Horror. It's South Carolina's only, only horror convention. So you get to see James O'Barr, you get to see Mr. Russo, and you get to see who else? Tyler Maine, who played Michael Myers in Rob Zombie's Halloween. And you get to see Natasha. <laughs> so, Stop by and see me. Later. We're out. Peace.